Hello and welcome. I hope everyone is doing well. Let's take a look at the cards today and I hope you find some inspiration in them. The Lord has done great things for us and we are filled with joy. You make known to me the path of life. You will fill me with joy in your presence, with eternal pleasures at your right hand. In this world you will have trouble, but take heart, I have overcome the world. May you be filled with joy always thanking the Father. Whatever you do in word or deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. Give praise to the Lord, proclaim his name, make known among the nations what he has done. Because you are my helper, I sing for joy in the shadow of your wings. Rejoice in the Lord and be glad. The Lord is near to all who call on him, to all who call on him in truth. It is wonderful to be grateful and to sing your praises, Lord Most High. O oh, my strength, I will sing praises to you, for you, O oh God, are my fortress, the God who shows me steadfast love. Shout praises to the Lord. With all my heart, I will thank the Lord. What you begin with confidence, you will finish with success. Now is the time to explore the things you're curious about and to do the things you dream about. Is there something that you are wanting to do, wanting to explore, Some a dream that you have, you're wanting to move toward it? Believe in the infinite capacity of your spirit to adapt, your body to heal and your heart to forgive. Strive to be someone who faces their strongest fears, braves their toughest battles and trusts their deepest self to live their biggest dreams. Greet each day with your eyes open to beauty, your mind open to change and your heart open to love. Each day holds a chance to make something happen, to make something better and to make someone smile. Commit to building a future that reflects your own choices, your deepest desires, your best efforts and your truest self. We can see any setback as an excuse to give up or as an incentive to give more. Set a goal for each day to voice an unpopular view, walk a less traveled road, praise an unsung hero or reach an impossible dream. Accept your freedom to dream as much as you dare to. Open your arms and keep your heart free to fully embrace the gifts of the moment. So it is very powerful and it can be very positive if we stay in the present moment. Not thinking so much on the past or on the future, but right where you are at now. Be thankful for the capacity to feel, the freedom to choose and the power to change. No one can outgive God. Be generous with your gifts. Do more, be more, give more, and have more. 
Act like your life is a blessing and you'll start feeling like life is a blessing. Give thanks for your blessed life. Our lives have seasons. What season are you in at the moment? One day you will look back on this time and realise it happened in order for you to grow. Know that today you are stronger than you were yesterday, even if it doesn't feel like that. May your guardian angel watch over you, give you courage and protect you every day. Be aware of your thoughts. Be aware of your behavior, attitudes and habits in your life. Awareness is very enlightening. Plant the seeds of hope, nurture them and watch them grow. Nobody's life is perfect. When you're going through tough times, keep on going. It's brighter ahead. You are a child of God, fear not. For with God, anything is possible. Life is full of choices. Choose wisely. Make choices that bring you closer to becoming the best version of yourself. Sometimes you may think God isn't listening because he didn't answer your prayer. But later you may be thanking God for that unanswered prayer. When making big decisions, do your best to take your emotions out of the equation. Your mind will serve you better if your emotions are perhaps not coming and interrupting. The path to joy begins with contentment, so it's about taking that first step. Be kind always, even when someone doesn't seem to deserve kindness. Be kind anyway, for you know not of their struggles. Lord, help me remember that nothing will happen today that you and I can't handle together. Surrender resentments. Are you holding on to any resentments? Because if you are, remember holding on to resentments only poisons you. Try to forgive others for their shortcomings and keep moving forward toward positive situations in your life. Surrender to creativity. Let your imagination soar. Stay open to all creative ideas about how to pursue a dream or solve a problem. Surrender unhealthy relationships. Let go of relationships that don't serve you, including unavailable or toxic people. You deserve to be treasured by others and to be surrounded by positive people. Surrender to your full power. Your life is calling for you to step into your full power rather than playing it small. Are you playing it small in some way? Can you associate that with your own life? Are you, how are you stepping into your full power right now? Surrender to silence. In quiet meditation or contemplation, let go and enter the stillness within. Silence can heal and it can replenish you. Surrender fear. Let go of the fearful stories you're telling yourself. Stay in the moment. Focus on solutions and celebrate every baby step forward. Surrender to joy. A key to positive change in your life is to let joy in and savor and savor it. Indulge in random acts of kindness or smiling. During both the hard and the easy times, keep surrendering to more joy. Surrender to success. You are ready to experience abundance. Don't look back at previous roadblocks or difficulties. Leap into an exciting new world of possibilities. 
and surrender to setting limits. It is healthy to set boundaries in relationships. Practice expressing your needs and remember that no is a complete sentence. Surrender negative thinking. You have control over your thoughts. When negative thoughts surface, say thank you for sharing and quickly refocus on the positive side of things or positive affirmations. Surrender your ego, cultivate gratitude and being of service to others and coming from your heart can help combat any egotistical things. A big ego can work against you, but humility can further your goals. Surrender comparisons with other people. Keep your eyes trained on yourself. Focus on your own strengths, attractiveness and power. It may be a positive thing to accept a situation exactly as it is rather than fighting to change it. It's always a good idea if you can to keep your sense of humor and not take things so seriously. Perhaps expressing yourself through music, dancing, rhythm, movement is important to you right now or perhaps this gives you some inspiration to uh, listen to an uplifting uh, track or to exercise more, move your body, stand tall and maintain your dignity no matter what and others will treat you with the respect that you deserve. Let compassion and forgiveness be your top priority. Perhaps you know that you're too fragmented and you may need to pull yourself together, get grounded, become centered. Perhaps your loyalty and faithfulness, is it misplaced perhaps? Maybe you're serving too many masters. There may be something out of balance in your life, so you might like to do whatever you can to correct that imbalance. It's been wonderful to go on this journey with you today. I hope you have found some inspiration in the cards. Take care, stay blessed, and I will talk to you again soon. Bye for now.